Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you for the week, uh, the week of um, October 27th through November 2nd, 2019. I hope that you are having a really good week. I've already taken the liberty of pulling a few cards. I want to say thank you to those who like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Continue to do so. Thank you. So let's get into it. So we've, I've broken it down between love and then career and finance. So we'll jump into love. At the bottom of the tar at the of the tarot deck, we have the King of Swords. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Typically Libra or Aquarius. This could be a Gemini also. It really just depends, um, of course, on who you are dealing with. Um, this is a very stern person. This is a person who... Um, they're very just and fair. Methodical. Most times they're brilliant. You know, these are the geniuses. These are mental activity is is always at a, at a high. Um, the mental capacity for this person is is extremely. Um, uh, you know, very. This is a very mentally driven person. Um, you may be trying to reach them by way of emotion, but this is a more more so. This is a person who will respect your words, and then followed by your actions. So if you are trying to reach their heart or their heart surface, we'll say that um, you need to go about it in the fashion of using your words, being very meticulous, clear, and assertive, and whatever it is you're trying to relate to this person and then you need to follow up with action um this could be advice for you and your uh you know if for love and romance or this is the type of person that you're dealing with um let's see what's going on here we'll get the king of ooh, king of pentacles and the nine of swords so for some of you this could be same sex or it's just that some of you are really so there's a lot of stubbornness here there's a lot of st stubbornness no one is willing to concede or 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 be vulnerable in the sense of trying to come together for the for the sake of coming together no one is trying to um have that vulnerability i think you and another person here it, are separated either by distance either by you know it's emotional separation mental separation there is the element of separation um being isolated or ostracized or this is where the both of you are in pain in regards to the separation in regards to how the relationship is going but no one is willing to rein it in and bring it back the other is blaming the other um there's someone at a place of wondering is this the end do i move forward or do i just let it die the both of you know what to do here and you, but you won't do it you're very well learned in your own self and your own self-worth and your in, in relationships and dealing with people but the ego here the ego trip and the stubbornness no king wants to come off his throne or her throne. There's an element of someone saying, well, I told you this. I've communicated this with you. I've said this. And then there's an element of someone saying, well, maybe your actions have been different or it's, it's not backed by your actions or it's not practical or you need to be a little bit more practical or um yeah the the idea of whatever the conversation is here someone is saying that it's just not practical and it's not grounded 
Uh, so there's someone who's, who wants to see the physical manifestation of, and then there's someone who is really trying to relay something by way of spoken word. The advice here for you is it, it can be successful, success here, um, but it's about someone taking the initiative, someone moving it forward, um, either really reining it in or allowing for a tough time to end in the relationship and starting anew but there is success here let's see what the shells have to say okay love wow lack so that's what where we are we're at love and lack here lack of effort lack of time lack of forward movement no one once again stubbornness and, and and the ego trip and no one is willing to come together and really make this happen no one is willing to concede or you know wave the white flag but there is love here so this week this is what you're dealing with uh, do know that you're stronger than you you may think you can get through and look for a sign in regards to moving forward. A sign could be a song, a phrase that someone says. It could be a movie. That this is, this is the relationship for you. That this can be successful, but it's about really releasing the ego trip. So career and finance, we have the strength card at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, there either has been or there is a impending merger. Some of you could be waiting for money, could be waiting for loans, investments, uh, real estate, things of those natures to pay off. Some of you are um, really taming yourself in regards to your, your finances, really trying to get them in order. Uh, really, you know, trimming the fat here and really cutting back. Some of you are at a in a place of desiring more, wanting to have more luxurious or um, yeah, luxurious or fashionable things, something of that nature. Four of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Some of you are, yeah, you're trying to see. There might be paperwork and things of that matter in order. You're trying to. Some of you are trying to get your own place, or you, or you've just moved a home, or you're trying to move a home, or trying to create a foundation here for family, for children. Um, something about and, and moving swiftly. You know, um, yeah, motivation. Question your motivation. Why do you want to move? You know. Is it that bad? Do know that you're stronger than you, you are, than you think you are. You can get through. You can have some really solid um, energy here. Also, in regards to this move, question your motives. Yeah, your motives in regards to moving. Is it, what is it for? Is it because you want more luxury, but you might not be at a place of being able to afford it? So you got home coming up, business, friends and spiritual so some of you may live with someone you could live with a friend you could be trying to further your business or so you feel like someone's in your business there's not enough room there's not enough space there's not enough divide here in the home um spiritually it could be affecting you question your motivation sit with spirit and ask spirit is this the right move is this, is this a calculated move um because the night of of wants asks you to reconsider or think about your um, your swift and fast movement before actually doing so so that could be that um, some of you could want to move because there are friends something about people living with you or you living with someone you're trying to be strong in regards to dealing with this this dynamic um, some of you need to move for business. This week is very interesting. You can move, but do question your motivation for your movement. 
and are you ready for it okay some of you could be waiting on paperwork in regards to getting the final say so um virgo i hope that this reading resonates with you for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the reading specials below the 72 hour energy reading the 15 dollars two question tarot card reading that comes to you via email and then also the 20 minute phone reading all links are below if you cannot find something just send me an email the email address is below also thank you virgo take care many blessings to you